Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another podcast. Today, we're filming it. We are. First time filming it. First attempt at filming it. This probably sounds really bad. Worst case scenario, I'll just detach the audio and try and clean it up. How can you clean up the audio? Editing. Editing magic. Welcome to Movie Magic, ladies and gentlemen. We have some news. First of all, we have a name for the podcast. We do. We put it up for people to give us suggestions, and, um... None of your suggestions helped. Toads and Goats did not win. It did not win. None of... Actually, all of the suggestions, uh, quite frankly, they sucked. Yeah, we got one guy saying, um, whack dudes and that kind of... That was just dumb. Still hurts, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, but we did come up with a name. Exactly! And the name of the podcast for here and forever is... Thank God it's Friday. I'll put in like some cheering sound effect where it's like, yeah. 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 So they're getting the won't. they're getting like the whole behind the scenes like this is how we're gonna edit this. Even though we were like we're never gonna edit our podcast. Maybe we should just start this over. I'm starting to think this is uh, going poorly. What do you mean? Nah, we'll just run it. I don't, what's the worst that can happen? So yeah, we do have a name. It's so thank God it's Friday. They will be releasing on Fridays mm -hmm. a certain time. Whenever I feel like it. Whenever he feels like it. Yeah, that's the... It's good to be the king, you know what I mean? Yeah, this whole YouTube thing is definitely going to his head. 30 subscribers! So, we did we did put a poll up to see what you guys wanted us to talk about, and I think it was pretty split between movies. It was! And, pretty split between movies and dreams, so we're just going to talk about both of them. Simple. Simple this as that. This week we'll talk about uh, our favorite movies from now and when we were children. Next week... Trippy dreams, a week after, the world. The world. The world is our oyster. Okay, so if you were going to take over the world, how would you do it? Alright, this is a really... Alright, so, easily. you got to be really rich. you got to have a lot of money, because money equals power. Okay, yeah. Alright, well, this is stupid, so we're going to move on to the <laughs> movies. So, movies. So, are we going to talk about movies or dreams first? Let's talk about the movies first. Okay, so, week. movies. We went and saw Spider-Man yesterday. We did! Opening night! Spoiler alert. Captain Whoa. America's dead. Whoa. Whoa, now. Instantly. If you didn't know that, dislike this video right now. If you didn't know that, then you're a loser and you should have seen Endgame by now. But anyways, yes. it even came back to theaters. You could have seen it like three days ago. But alright. So, it was a very good movie. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I'm a like a Spider-Man fanboy at the end of the day, overall. Um, really, anything that has Spider-Man in it, I'm going to be like, that's good. But I think this movie... Uh, we talked about this last night. Uh, I'm really big into the comics, so I like it when it matches kind of the feel of them. Stuff like how they have to do intricate web designs so that it's you can draw it instead of having to show like a full fledged out fight scene. So I think when movies can capture that, like Spider Verse and then Far From Home, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I, I pretty much had fun the whole time I was watching the movie. There was really cool like uh, nightmare sequences. I think nightmare sequences are my favorite things in movies. Yeah, Cause I, I I never can tell when it's a nightmare, except yeah. for like in this movie I could, cause I kind of yeah I kind it kind of made it. it it's really obvious when it's happening. If you see the movie, then you'll know what we're talking about. We're not we're not gonna like tell you the plot of the movie, just the fact that the you movie. You got two weeks. Yeah. Grace period, baby. Yeah, the movie was very good. You should definitely go see it, even if you aren't a very big superhero fan. I think it's a great movie. Mm -hmm. Tom Holland does a great job. Tom Holland's just a great person. He is the best Spider-Man. If you think you're, if you think I'm wrong, then you're just nostalgic and you like Tobey Maguire. Andrew Garfield's pretty hot. Yeah, he was definitely the worst Spider-Man. Everybody at first was like, "Oh, it's new. I like it. It's cool. It's funny." I was like, "Yeah, in about a week, you're gonna hate this guy." I think Tobey Maguire is the best just because of that one scene where he's crying, and his face is like and terrible. I, I don't even know what he's talking about. You're not a real Spider-Man fan like me. Tobey Maguire. Wait. Wait. Are you talking about the one where his face is like... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly that one. There's a ton of memes on that one. But yeah, that movie was very good. It was. Um, What's some movies that like... Uh, let's start with recent. What's some movies you've seen recently? That are good? I know you work in a movie theater, so you kind of see everything. I but... see everything, and it's awful. It's a, it's a gift and a curse. You're just like, oh, dude, I work in a movie theater. I get to see movies like every day. You get to see the same movies every day. Can you imagine if you were stuck listening to the same seven songs every day that's for the a, rest of your life? That's a choice. I do that every night. Okay. Well, 
Yeah, it's really, it, but like really like four good songs and like two really good songs and one just song you're like, oh, I'll listen to it. Yeah. That's what it's like working in a movie theater. Oh, okay. But now I work in concessions, so I never really watch movies when I'm like on the job. But um, movies I have seen recently, I saw, we saw Godzilla. Oh, yeah. I, we, there's a full review of that. I'll put a little card for it. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, not, yeah. not, not enough Godzilla, though. That's what everybody says of Godzilla movies. I, I saw like. people saying, like, there's not enough plot. Why are these monsters fighting each other? And I'm like, shut up, nerds. It's literally... It's giant monsters. It's Godzilla. If you go to a Godzilla movie and you're looking for plot, then you need, you're wrong, and you need to leave. I don't know. Actually, like, the Godzilla lore? Crazy, dude. Okay, well, no one... got no, The average Smo Joe, right? Yeah. They're gonna go to a Godzilla movie because they want to see Godzilla, like breaks and stuff. Yeah, but like if people are super into Godzilla, they can look it up and there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I'm sure there is, but like I said, no one's going to go to the unless you're like an absolute turbo nerd and you love Godzilla and you love Godzilla lore, then you're going to a, then like you just it's not it's incorrect. But anyways, yeah, Godzilla, that was pretty good. Um Have we seen anything else? We saw the most recent John Wick. That Parabell would be, all right. What is it? Parabellum. Parabell Parabellum? Parabellum. Parabella. All right, that movie was amazing. You just like Keanu Reeves. Uh, everybody loves Keanu Reeves. All right, I think I could go with Keanu Reeves. No, all right, listen. So I do want to clarify one thing. Oh, boy. I liked Keanu Reeves before this whole bandwagon of liking Keanu Reeves. Yeah. I didn't. I love that man. But anyways, and I'm glad that he's back. The only reason you like him is The Matrix, though. Yeah, that's like the one of his best movies of all time. That's what made him famous. Yeah. And then Bandwagon. He, and then he was in Fortnite, so that was pretty cool. <sighs> Moving on. So John Wick, yeah, that was a great movie. I actually really enjoyed that movie. I did too. I think they just... It's creative ways to kill people. And it's almost like Final Destination if it wasn't bad. Yeah. But it's like instead of just crazy like coincidences, it's just like... Man. And he's just really good at it. Yeah. Yeah, John Wick. That's another movie that has crazy lore. You made me, like, because I haven't seen the other John Wicks before I went to see it. Yeah. So I had to look up all of this, like, lore to understand it with the little coins that yeah. are for, I don't know, yeah. lore stuff. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, Double meaning to the name, too. To what, John Wick? No, Parabellum. Oh. Because it's, there's a 9 millimeter Parabellum round, and then Parabellum uh -huh. is war. Yeah. And that's when they started the war with the high table and all that stuff. Spoilers. Well, it's past the two weeks grace period. Yeah. You haven't seen it and you're going to complain? Do it. I love the hate. Also the, I thrive in it. Also the end when he had his finger cut off and... Uh, Sucks. Yeah. That other, what's that other guy's name? Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, La Lawrence Fishburne was like, oh, they took a finger. Ain't that a bitch or something. It was something hilarious and then John Wood was just like flipping him off. But that was pretty funny. What's some other movies? Rocket Man. I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't see Rocket Man? Mm -mm. I thought you were going to see it with your dad. I was, and then uh, we went on vacation. Nick's dad, if you're watching this, this is your fault. I don't even think my dad knows what YouTube is. My dad is like 63 years old. Is he really? Yeah, my dad's really old. Wow. Like I'm the I'm the youngest children. Like my dad was like 45 when I was born. Wow. Yeah. I think when I have children, I want to be, like, 82. Yeah, that's a, that's a possibility, though. You could do that. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Um, I can't really think of any other movies I've seen recently. And if I have, then they probably weren't good. And I was probably just like, I'm bored, and I'm going to go to the movies. I get movies for free. You know, what am I going to do? I'm in a small Humble town. Boost. There's literally nothing to do. In Simpleville, baby. There's nothing to do but go to the movies or do illegal things. And I do not do illegal things because I'm a good noodle. The only illegal things I do is um, sometimes I stream movies. Yeah, legally download movies and music. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. We have Spotify. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a paid promotion for Spotify. Spotify, if you're watching, hit me up. Yeah, we're not sponsored. Um, What's some old movies that we like? Okay, see, for me... Like, I split old movies I like into two different categories, right? Yeah. It's movies I liked as a kid and movies I like now. Yeah. So what do you want to talk about first? <laughs> All right, so I don't really have that distinction of, like, movies I liked as a kid and movies I like now. I like, like, if I liked a movie back in the day, then I like that movie now still. 
Oh well, yeah, of course. Like I still have nostalgia. Like I can go back to the first Mighty Morphin the Power Rangers and I'm like, this is the best movie. Yeah, this is the most high quality content I've ever seen. Yeah, like there's not a single thing wrong with that movie. And if you disagree, just leave the video now. Dislike the video right now. You know you know how last week we were like, like this video if blah 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 blah. Yeah. Dislike this video this week. No, don't do that, please. We're gonna throw off our ratio. Please don't do that. <laughs> I wanna have a fifty fifty I was watching a video on YouTube. Dude, and all those Chef Warren fans are gonna be like, "Oh yeah, they asked me to dislike it." Oh, they got us. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to put that bit in Dude, there. Dude, he called me out. I know. I was like, "Oh, he got me." If if you really want civil beef over your small YouTube channel versus ours, then that's not even that. I just it kind of makes me like sad, I guess, because he's like, "You stole my idea," and I'm like, "Actually, I stole this from a sorted food, a way bigger YouTube channel." I didn't know Orin had a YouTube channel. It's I, pretty funny. I, didn't I like know it. <laughs> like I enjoy it. If you guys are watching at this point, go to I think it's Orin two thousand one. It's one I'll you know, I'll feature it on the Bluetooth channel. Is he a two thousand baby? I don't know. He probably, probably is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's We're actually like a... the very last of the nineties babies. Oh we are. Oh god. Oh dude, what nineties movies need to make a comeback? Because you uh, know how they remake everything? Yeah, okay. Alright, first of all, there's there's like two movie series that I would absolutely love that they remade. Also, I want to rant about something later about movies because oh, wow. it's been brewing for a little okay. bit. I haven't had a discussion with Chelsea about this. All right, so Ooh. there's two big movie series that if they were rebooted right now, yeah. I would see them every single day. Let me guess. The Matrix. The Matrix is the first one. Okay. Yeah. The reason why. The first one, absolute movie gold, all right? Everything in that movie is perfect. Every single thing in that movie Everything is in that movie is perfect. Is there a minigun? There is a minigun. I agree. Yeah, there you go. This the the second Matrix and the last one in the trilogy, garbage, absolute grade A trash fire. They okay. suck. True. So, if it were to be redone, they would change nothing about the first one. Change everything about the second and third one. Okay, how would you want them to change it? Okay, here's what, here's how I imagine this Matrix remake. Right. I'm thinking like maybe Nick Jonas. All right. Also, Nick Jonas doing movies. Why? He was in Dunkirk, and he said, like, three words. Good words. It, like, I don't understand. All right, but that's not the point. Power, that's not the point. Okay, so if I were to redo The Matrix, yeah. the second one would exemplify everything that happened in the first one. How? Building upon it instead okay. of trying to branch off into a new thing. Because okay. in the first one, it was like, this is the establishment. Pretty much the whole first movie was, like, what is it called? Exposition. Yeah, it was pretty much exposition to just pretty much be like, to, to be to be like Neo is the one and this is why he is and then this is how he got here and this is like he is. So they just need to build upon that and be like, this is what he's doing now because he is the one, and he's like trying to make a difference and pretty much stop the machines. From and, or no, machines. it's not not the machines. Excuse me, stopping the agents from taking control over the machines and like pretty much blowing everything up. Yeah, of course. So. They should just build upon that in the second one, right? Mm -hmm. And then lead it all the way up until the very end of the second one to a really big battle. And what, between, like, Neo and the agents? Yeah. But, okay, so here's the thing, right? In the third one, the, the Oracle was like, Neo, you're going to have to, like, work with the machines. Or like, She was like, she said something all, like, cryptic and stuff. She's like, you got to work with the machines or whatever to be able to defeat the agents. And he was like, I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? It's a good night. He also didn't, like, for some reason, he also didn't say, like, anything in the movies. He didn't well, say that much. See, that was, in, like, an old thing that I'm really glad is gone. The whole, like, quiet, stoic yeah. main character that's supposed to be, like... What do you keep looking at? I, I don't Are know. Are you looking at I, a drink? No, I, I just keep gazing, gazing off. Okay, anyways. I'm really glad that's gone, because, like... You know, there are some people that can do it. Like, I think if The Rock did it... Intimidating. It's the... But, like, you get people like Keanu Reeves doing it, and I'm like, all right, you're socially awkward, but so am I, so it makes you special. Okay. But anyways, so, why is my mom calling me right now? Sorry, Mom. Here, text my mom and tell her I'm doing a podcast. Oh. <laughs> Do custom. custom. So, like I said, I in the third one, Texting she was like... his mom. In the third one, he had to like work with the machines to be able to defeat the agents, but to be defeat the agents, he had to become one himself and defeat them from the inside. They didn't really explain that at all. They didn't actually explain anything like throughout the entire trilogy. Besides the first one, they explained a little bit, and then the second one, they were like, 
Yeah, he's pretty powerful and he can stop bullets with his hands. So they just kind of like ran with that for a while and I then... I told your mom I was in love with her. So yeah, he can stop bullets with his hands the last part I was listening to. Okay, so yeah. Like I said, Matrix would be amazing. Fix it. Got it. Next one. The Terminator series. They're making a new Terminator and you were upset about it. Yeah, that's because it's it's hot trash. And I'll explain that later. Oh, don't worry. The movie, this we might as well just make this podcast about movies. So Okay, sorry, I was reading text from my mouth. Alright, so the Terminator series. The first one, really good. Da, 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 da. Exactly, and that's iconic. The first one was really good. And it did like a good they did like a good job of introducing the characters and introducing a threat that was like Pretty scary. That wasn't like a real world threat, something that we would never have to deal with, but something that was, you could believe it. Yeah, it's threatening. The second one, I, in my opinion, was better than the first one. That's the one that we watched together when yeah. we first became friends. Yeah. And you were like, look, he has a mini gun, and I was like, oh, it's great. And he was just like, Brrr. all right. So the second one, really good. It, like establishes new characters really well, bring back old characters really well, just does like an overall really good job and tells the story really well. And then the third one is when they were like, into the trash can, because it got really bad. And they used really bad actors. So... They use like, no names. Like, jobbers, pretty much. Like, what's happening with this new one? Yeah, with this new one, where they're like, here's the old Sarah Connor, right? And here's Arnold Schwarzenegger. But he's old, too. But he's old, and he really can't do anything. So, here's what I don't get about that, okay? He's a robot, isn't he? I don't know. Do you see where I'm, like, at right now? Like, the story is so, like, it's been stretched and stretched so much now that I feel like it's just broken with this new one coming out. That it just doesn't make any sense. Dude, I don't think they could remake the Terminator and really do like a fresh reboot of it for another like 10 years though. Until like the whole Arnold Schwarzenegger, whoa, Arnold Schwarzenegger hype like dies down. Dude, did you know he got drop kicked in South Africa? You're gonna have to show me that video later. Okay, so... Alright, put it in the video. editing, please put that video in. I'll show just like the one clip of him getting kicked. I'll put it right now. Welcome back from the video. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, let me explain it to you since you are not in the future. Here, we have a computer. Oh, yeah. I hope this plays over oh. the radio station. Oh, yeah. We got okay, here today in the radio station. It's just not working. Like, it's just not working. No music. Nothing. No music. Like, I was like, oh, there's like a, the, we have the whole monitor set up and everything with like the, the, table, whatever, I don't know what they call this thing, but it has like all the different volume levels of what you could turn on and off, and I was like, oh, the monitor's just like not turned up, so I turned it up and it's just nothing. Automation's not on. Yeah. Doug, if you're watching this part, I know that you're his boss. We didn't break it. Yeah. We came here and it was like this. Anyways, we keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, okay. what were we even talking about? Movies that we liked as kids. Okay, alright, so yeah, I got my whole spiel out about The Matrix and the Terminator. If you had to... If you had to remake an old movie, what would it be and why? Okay, so, I don't know about remaking it, because I'm getting real sick of remakes, but I would love, like, a spiritual sequel where they're like, yeah, we're kind of based off them, but we're going in a whole different direction. I think they should do it on the Planeteers. I don't remember that movie. The, well, it wasn't really a movie, it was a show. But it was Captain Planet, and he had, like, a little movie. I remember, you don't know Captain I, I, Planet? I've seen Captain Planet. Captain Planet. I've seen memes, he's but I, a I, don't, hero. I don't know what it is. Okay, so basically, he's a superhero who fights pollution. Oh my god. I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. But think about the, it, right? Is the pollution like. Bad guys. Do yeah. They, do they like. It's like bad guys that make pollution. It's bad guys. But he, he also has a group of like kids that follow him called the Planeteers. So he's, does he go to India a lot? Not then, but think about now. See, like, I want this gritty reboot of, like, Captain Planet, where he's, like, controlling all the elements, and he's, like, going into where there's, like, factories and, like, developing countries, and he's like, I don't think so. Tornado. No, I really... I and think then it's a disaster. No, 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 no. I think if... All right. And you if, know who plays Captain Planet? Who? Brock Lesnar. No, he does not, dude. Brock Lesnar. You gotta put a picture dude. of You gotta put... Now Oh, okay, you gotta put a picture up of that. So, I wonder if I can edit a picture. Dude, okay, right. if they had if, if they had to bring back Captain Planet, th no doubt in my mind, keep Brock Lesnar. But Captain Planet has to like suplex all of the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Maybe it should be John Cena. And then the bad guy is Brock Lesnar, right? And Brock Lesnar's like this big lava monster. And he's like throwing rocks and stuff. Oh. I'm going to put a sound effect so they think that was real. <laughs> but oh, you, yeah. You just told them it wasn't. Well, fun fact. What is that at that part out? <laughs> I'm breaking the fourth wall, baby. These mics, they're shams. They're not real. They're, like, these are I mean, just they're a, real. Like, this is literally just a prop right now because we don't have any We don't have any mics. But it's okay. We're working on quality. I don't understand. So, you have a siphon of a lot of money. I haven't gotten it yet. We're not going to say I the haven't gotten we're, it yet. we're not going to say the dollar sign. But there's doll hairs involved. Dude. There's a lot. There's a lot actually going into this. But we don't have any equipment. We have nothing to work with. So, I will be getting equipment Here. soon. I'm just going to take a picture of our setup right now so you can put this picture in for later. Feels bad. It's just a camera. <laughs> it's literally just, we just came in today and we were like, hey, we just need a camera. So we wanted to film our podcast for today. And he was like, okay, uh... Here. <laughs> we are cool. And he just handed me like this 2009 Sony camera. Bro, this could be like 2012. That movie was hot trash. Okay, I'm... No, 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 no. No, no, I just... I, I do not like disaster movies, even though I want the pl Captain Planet okay, to so, be a disaster movie. Hot trash is not always a bad thing. Okay. There's a reason I call it hot trash. Because it's hot. But it's trash. Nice. So it's so bad that it's good. <laughs> see, here's my thing about movies. You can go see a movie and it'd be bad and it can be funny, right? Like, we saw the movie, what was it, Don't Breathe or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was like... It was so bad that people in the theater were laughing. We were cracking jokes out loud in the theater. And, and people were, like, like, laughing along with, with us. It. Yeah, like, that was so bad it was good. I remember, like, there's a point in that movie... Spoiler alert from 2016 oh, nerds. No. I hope it's not what I think it is. No, no, I'm not talking about that part. That oh, part's gross. <laughs> but she walks into the basement, and I remember this very back in the theater went, girl, no. Yeah, he was like, stupid idiot or something. Yeah. And, I was, and then the whole theater was just like, this movie's garbage. Whoa! Yeah, like, it was garbage at that point. But, like, if you go into a movie and you see it and you leave and you're like, I definitely just wasted my time, and that was a, that was a really bad movie. Yeah, I've only had that movie, like, an experience like that once. That was that James Bond movie that has Batista in it. Yeah, but you fell asleep. I rest my case. Falls asleep in the movie. Says it's the movie's fault. If a movie can't keep me awake when I'm in a movie theater, it's the movie's All right, fault. I fell asleep during Rogue One. Rogue One. So you're saying Rogue One is bad? No, I'm not. I fell asleep because I just wanted to see the Darth Vader scene again. So you'd already seen it? Yeah. That's a good scene. That is a good scene. Dude, let's talk about Star Wars. Uh, here we go. I love Star Wars. Going down the rabbit hole. So Star Wars, in case you haven't seen it, it's kind of like Star Trek, but not as good. That's right. I went there. I hope that gets some like hot takes in the comments. We had, or, like, we had your hat is stupid. Your opinion is stupid. Your co-host is stupid. I don't think you understand. We had two comments last time. I know. I was one of them. I know. Okay. Anyways, though. Yes, we're not going to talk about Star Wars. If, oh. if we talk about Star Wars, we're going to only talk about movies. All right, All next right. time we're going to do a Star Wars only podcast. Uh, that's not true. We'll do that sure. we'll do that on May 4th. Nice. So, um a few like movie tropes I want to talk about, right? Okay, tropes, yeah. I'm down. This whole like All right, first off, chick flicks, not good movies. Every single one of them, garbage. Changed my mind. Um I don't go to chick flicks that often. All right, so here's my thing about chick flicks, all right? I talked to my girlfriend about this because she's an expert on chick flicks. She's indeed a woman. That so, is true. I was like, because she knows I'm a big movie buff. Because I, I don't know, I take movies seriously. Because I think it's an important part of pop culture and regular culture, right? Culture, culture. Just culture in general. Movies can influence young people, old people, people of all ages. Just people. And it's just like, it's amazing to that we have the technology that we can bring a story to life. Yeah, that's true. And even if something seems so unbelievable, we still sit in the theater and we're like, this is real life. Like, this this could happen tomorrow. Even in like, you know, Marvel movies, like the whole Mar in Endgame, right? It's a three hour movie. Yeah, it's epic. It felt like less than 20 minutes. Because I was so, I was so emotionally invested into it that my time just flew by for me. 
obviously I'm over exaggerating with the whole 20 minute thing, but like it didn't feel like the whole three hours. Yeah, I would agree with that. So, God, I don't know. Oh yeah, chick flicks. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, about. Got, I, this, is, this is starting. This is starting to morph into my other my other like trope about movies that I don't okay. like. So, um, yeah, chick flicks. I don't like them mainly because a lazy writing all over the place. Like there was this. Oh God, I don't remember the name of this movie. I watched it with Chelsea. It was like this guy, her friend killed herself. And like just and they always use like they always use they like they have like three cards they pull right cancer suicide or like family member died something along the lines of that. I mean those are big emotional moments. Exactly, but that's the only emotional moments that they use. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. They don't they don't like try to branch out right. They always just follow the same like linear like oh my friend killed himself I'm in love with this guy movie over. Oh I got cancer I'm gonna die I'm fine now movie over. This is a hot take, dude. Like, oh yeah, like, coming after a, like a portion of Hollywood. Oh yeah, no, I Hollywood's gross. We're not, we're not, we're not even like halfway done with this right. Oh god! Wow, this is gonna go on the internet. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna get some heat for this one. It's so, all right. dislike this video if you or disagree with them. Yeah, if you dislike the video, if you think chick flicks are a plus movies. Do it. You're gonna get banned. <laughs> Can we Shame. ban people? Is that a thing we can do? Uh, no, we can't ban people? Alright, redact that. So, but anyway, so I just don't like chick flicks. I think it's lazy writing, they're boring, I don't think they're interesting, it doesn't tell a story, I don't feel compelled. Maybe it's because I can't relate with the main character because I've never had any of those things really happen to me. True. But, at the same time, I'm not Captain America. I'm not Spider-Man. Speak for yourself. I'm not Batman. I'm, I'm not, I'm no superhero. I'm a normal guy from a small town. Yeah. Who goes to a small college. Yeah. But when I go to a superhero movie, I feel like I'm leaving the, the movie theater a superhero. I feel like that I can make an impact in the world the next day. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. It's like the message you take yeah. out. Okay. When I go to a chick flick, I feel like I wasted my time. Ooh. Hot takes. Because that's what we bring you here on Thank God It's Friday. Hot take, hot take, hot take. It almost sounded like I said hot cake there for a I second. thought you were for a minute. <laughs> so, like like I said, I feel like I wasted my time. It's lazy writing. It's predictable. I, it's, I felt like they didn't spend nearly as much time as they do on even, like, low-tier movies. I guess it even, is. like, the Fast and Furious. I feel like they spend more time on those than they do on chick flicks. I love... The Fast and Furious. Yeah, those. All right, that's just because we're dudes, though. We, and we're and like just stupid re redundant violence will always get us high. It's not even that. I'm just like, oh look, it's The Rock throwing a. Oh yeah, dude. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when The Rock. Dwayne. Yeah, dude. Dwayne, if you're watching this video, hit me up. I've got some ideas for a collab. So are you got any like hot take movie stuff? Hot take movie stuff? Yeah. I think Titanic's really boring. Oh, that's big facts. All right. What? No. All right. Hold on. Listen. That movie is wonderful. Wonderfully written, wonderfully shot. I love the movie. Also, there was definitely enough room on that board for him to get on. Well, no, but think about it. That's but, weight, though. I don't even want to talk about it. It makes me mad every time. So, that's just because Leo was in his, like, young career and he just had to die in all of his movies. I don't know why. That was, like, something. It's a good way to get famous. Actually, that is because if he dies in a movie and you feel bad about it, that means he's a good actor. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, so... Great movie, really long. Doesn't need to be that long. No. Cut out the part where he draws her naked. Perfect movie. But then all the girls aren't going to watch the movie. Is that what the girls watch it for? Why don't watch Fifty Shades of Grey? Moving on! <laughs> I got another hot take. What's up? Jurassic Worlds, like all of the Jurassic Parks, great. Yeah. Like, those are absolutely fabulous. And there are people... I'm talking to you... Rotten Tomatoes users, you're like, there's not enough plot. I came to see some dinosaurs do dinosaur things, all right? Sometimes a movie is just so you can be like, yeah, put it down the screen, dude. And so, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and say this, all right? All right, okay? All yeah. Right, you ready? So, here's my thing, right? There's a reason that dinosaur movies or, like, giant monster movies are entertaining, because there's giant monsters. Because there's giant monsters, right? And dinosaurs. They're, the plot is lazy because that's not the focus of the movie. Dude, what's your favorite dinosaur? Oh, dude, that, um... Come on, there's that big one. The big... The, oh, my God. 
My favorite, for anyone curious, is the Ankylosaurus, because he's got, like, the club on his tail, so he's just like, boom! Oh, yeah, okay. He's no, so spikes all over. He's not like Bowser. I like the one that, the, the giant sea monster one. Oh, from, like, Jurassic World yeah. and stuff? The one that all, it, all he does ever is just, wow. Yeah. That's a good bit, though. That's a funny, like, reoccurring trope. It's yeah. just like, oh, how are they going to get him? Yeah. But see, those movies work because the plot can be lazy because it makes up for it with giant monsters fighting each other. Yeah. That's why people go see those movies. Chick flicks, on the other hand, are dumb because the writing is lazy, and that's the central focus of the movie. I feel like, though, like, if you were a girl, you'd be more into it. Why? I don't know. I think usually chick flicks rely on more emotional storytelling. Okay. 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 Why don't I like them then? I'm very, I'm, I'm very emotionally attached. I don't know why you don't like. Them. I just think like, I'm trying to think of like an example, like the Notebook. I think the Notebook's really bad. Okay. Well, that's a rom com. Oh, is that's that a comedy? A, no. 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 No, 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 I laughed. That, that is, that, that's you know the, the point when the guy's like, what do you want? And she's yeah, like, it's not that hilarious. easy. He's like, tell me what you want. It's like when you ask your girl where you want to go to eat. And she's I've like, seen that. <laughs> <laughs> but like that, that, see now that's a good example of a good chick flick. Okay. Well, what's your example? Of Charlie's Angels. That is, are, that movie is disgusting. All right. Why is it disgusting? Okay. So I totally am on board with like women. You can do whatever you want. Right. Okay. Yes. That, like you can do whatever. in 2019. Yeah, so you can okay. literally do whatever you want. I do not care. Right. Okay. So I think we're past the point of like sexualizing women. Like, whoa, whoa, women. Whoa, cut. So sexualizing women in movies. Right. That's so old. Like they, we used to do that so long ago. But now that's like that that's being used as a power statement. But see, like, it's a different kind of sexualizing women. What's the difference? Because now it's sexualizing in an empowering way. You have like Marilyn Monroe where all she had going for her is like she's got a dress that blows up in the steam, which probably would burn her, but it doesn't in the movies. You know what? That's my hot take. Marilyn Monroe, not good. Don't like her. You don't like her? Not really. I thought she was just beautiful. See? That's all she had going for her. But now with like the Charlie's Angels coming, they're like spies. And they're smart. And they wear wigs. That's a lot more going for them. Yeah. Alright, moving on to the other movie trope that just really grinds my gears. Yeah, grind. This it. one's getting... Now this one... This uh, one's this a hot take. This one's... It's pretty hot. Oh boy. I don't even know why I want to talk about it because... This might start a fight between you and me. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I feel like you're going to agree with me on this one. Okay, hit me with it. I'm ready for it. So. We should have been timing this. I just thought about that. It's all right. <laughs> this might be a really long one. <laughs> so. I'll clean there's it. There's this new... I I don't know what it is. And I can already tell, like, you know, just based off this, you know, the color of my... my uh, Your skin. race. Yeah, my race. And my gender... Oh boy. Then I'm not going to understand this movie trove, but we're going to roll with it. So there's this new, like, there's this new, I don't know, what is it called? Like, um, not, like, what am I talking about? Trend. Trend. There's this new trend with movies nowadays that they remake an old movie, but they replace the main character with either a black woman, a white woman, a black man, or any other race that is not white. Now, it works, and I like it, in certain aspects, but when you take a classic that I love, for instance, Ghostbusters, Men in Black, oh. I grew up with that movie, I loved that movie, that movie was amazing, even the third one that was like, kind of bad, amazing, I still liked it because it was, it was Men in Black, it was Will Smith and that other guy, I totally forgot, but they're not name. remaking Men in Black, nope, hold on, okay, so, they didn't remake it. No. They just reimagined it. Yeah. Which is fair. It's a reimagination of Men in Black. It's like a spiritual sequel. But you're still taking the name Men in Black. And you're taking the idea of Men in Black. But you're replacing the main character, which was Will Smith, with that lady who is I don't know, Valkyrie off of, of Avengers. Or Thor or whatever. 
Same thing. So you're replacing this guy, which is a black man, with a black woman. And then, not only are you doing that, but the whole central message of Men in Black was, it was a serious but funny movie. Kind of like Spider-Man. Yeah. It's a serious but funny movie. Like, it has its serious moments where the audience is, like, pulled in, paying attention, and it has, like, you know, going through, like, transitions and whatnot. Crack a joke here and there, make it funny, make it go by quick. So, they just took the whole seriousness of the movie, threw it out, and replaced it with just straight comedy. Did you see it? No, but it got really bad reviews. Uh, and I wonder why. Is it... Whoa. 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 Was it on Rotten Tomatoes? No. Okay. Rotten Tomatoes, you're cool for now, but you're on thin ice, baby. Even, like, uh, the guy I work with who does the movie reviews, which his YouTube channel will be plugged in the description. Yeah, I'll put it there. Yeah, Sorry. he does great reviews. He, he pumps out content a lot. You know what? I'll put a card up there, if I remember. Right now. All right. Can't wait to forget. <laughs> it is just me doing that. <laughs> but, like, he gave the movie, like, it was a C. That's average. But the original Men in Blacks were, like... Really, S tier movies. Like there were great movies that yeah. every if you were if you were alive during that time and you watched the movies, then you loved them. And then that's like another thing with this new Terminator, right? Yeah. Always been big burly man doing Terminator things. I'm a big dumb robot that likes punching stuff. Like literally, it's a good gimmick to have. Which is a great gimmick. It's it's it just works for. Well, it worked for the time because they use Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is a big dumb muscly guy who punches stuff, right? Yeah. He's like a cronk. Yeah, he's like a he's like a cronk. That's what we're gonna call that trope from now on. The cronk trope. Big so now, dumb dude. So now they're reimagining the Terminator series, and they're replacing the Terminator with a woman. My only thing about um, I don't care if it's a woman. Like it doesn't really affect me, because like the guy that's chasing them is another just like cronk. No, it's not. It's like a, he's like. An I guess he's not really a. Yeah, cronk. he's more he's like, more like a, uh, He's like a lanky guy. He's like a Cusco. Yeah, he's like a Cusco. Yeah. I like that we're using the Emperor's New Groove as our <laughs> system. It works. That movie, since we're supposed to be talking about movies we like, that one, and the show that came from it. I haven't even gotten to the central reason why I dislike these movies. Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> so the main reason I don't like these movies, right, is a they're not as good as the originals, and that's not just me saying that. That's a lot of other people saying that, and that's not just because, and that's not just me saying it because I'm white and I'm a man. It's me saying it because I pretty much rank movies equally. Besides chick flicks, I hate chick flicks, right? You do hate chick flicks. I do not. Pr- I do not carry play. any personal biases towards movies based off who's in it. Like Shaft with Samuel L. Jackson, all black cast. That's a hilarious movie. The Django. Amazing movie. That's one of Quentin Tarantino's best films. And the sen- the main character is a black man. Who kills a bunch of white dudes. And that movie is hilarious, funny, has great action sequences. It's an amazing movie. Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson, main character. And John Travolta. And John Travolta, which is dies like halfway through the movie. Still a great, great movie. Even though Quentin, Quentin Tarantino did say some really bad stuff about cops. We're not going to talk about that. But... The main reason I don't like these movies is is people don't like them. And then the people who are in the movies, like the main characters, yeah. are saying it's because they're racist or sexist. Like uh like how Brie Larson accuses people, yeah, saying like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now she was like, You didn't like you didn't like Captain Marvel because you're a man. I liked the movie. I thought I it was good. I thought it was it was on par with every single Marvel movie. Yeah. I didn't like, get... Like, in a lot fact... Of complained about the whole, like... There's too much, like, oh, she's a woman. She can't do that. Yeah, exactly. Her, her, like, give me d- pictures of Spider-Man. All that kind of... Yeah. I didn't really, like... Like, I didn't... I don't know. I just didn't really catch that vibe. I, <laughs> I don't know if I just wasn't paying enough attention. It was just like... Yeah, well, or if, like, I was just, like, sitting there, like, this is cool. But I just... It didn't hit me. Yeah. It, I never, like... During the movie, I never felt like... Because she's a woman, she's looked down upon, and everybody doesn't think she can do it. I never, like, had that feeling. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I just missed it, and maybe it's because, like, I'm not a woman, that I didn't, like, be, like, see that right there with sexism or something like that. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I just kind of saw it as, like, people were, like, yeah, you're in a different time period where 
we don't let you do stuff like this. And then she was like, and now I'm a superhero. Yeah. Yeah, but like in that movie as well, there was a lot of like power. There was a lot of powerful female characters. Yeah. There was Captain Marvel, Marvel, or Doctor Marvel, excuse me. There was uh, Captain Marvel's best friend. I don't remember her name in the I movie. I don't either. Her daughter is also yeah. pretty prominent. And that was Lieutenant Trouble or whatever her name was. Yeah. And that and like I loved all that. I thought it was a wonderful movie. My girlfriend absolutely loved that movie, and like I would see it again. Yeah. Like, I, it was not a movie that I saw, and I was like, God, I can't believe it. Another movie where a woman's the main character. I'm not going to see it. See, like, that's not, like, that's not, like, what I'm thinking, right? That's not, like, okay, hold on. Oh, boy. So that's not, like... He's repositioned, folks. So that's not, like, my, my personal bias towards the movie is not based on who the, like, movie is played by or what the... Uh, it's hard to explain. I think what you're trying to say is the only reason you have a problem with them is because people bring up race or gender or sex after it yeah in reality it's just a bad movie you know yeah well that's like how people you know you in know? south park um there's like this running joke where token who's the pretty much like only black kid to hang out with most wise name is token yeah lol but he doesn't like black panther and people are like you're racist because you don't like black panther but he's black. So, like, I've seen that running joke, but, like, I also do think there are people that are, like, you know, they, like, watch Black Panther, and they're like, oh, uh, where's the white guys? Yeah, exactly, and those people... Those people are stupid. Yeah, those people are scumbags. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. I feel like... If you disagree with that hot take, dislike this video. So we can know who you are, and we'll track you down. And then we'll probably be like... That's not cool. That's either. not cool, bro. Come on. But I'm, I'm since you brought it up, the CEO of racism, I'm gonna tell him to stop it. Michelle Obama. All right. Wait. So, <laughs> so Is Michelle Obama, the CEO of racism. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so since you brought up Black Panther, that movie was amazing. I love Black. Panther. I think that's that was one of. The, I really like the Rhino Tribe because they have rhinos. The, and I think yeah, rhinos those guys were cool. those guys were really cool. So, spoiler alert, in case you haven't seen. If it, you haven't seen nerds. Black Panther, dislike the video so we can shadow ban you. Um, I hope we get like twenty nine dislikes. Oh god, that'd be so bad. I'd be like, yeah, hot takes. Please baby. do not dislike the video <laughs> because we're expressing our opinions about Dis movies. Dislike this. This is video. America, all right. We're we are able to do this for a reason. So, since you brought up Black Panther, that's yeah, okay. one of my favorite Marvel movies. Really? Okay, the whole production of that movie. Amazing. Yes. The music in that movie, amazing. I still have the playlist on Spotify. I still listen to the songs. The guy, the main character in Black Panther, I forgot his name. I suck Chad with Chad Bosnian. Bosnian? Isn't that a country? That no. was like... No, that's Rhodesia. Rhodesia? All right. So, <laughs> so it's Chad Bodwick. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. He is... Chad, if you're watching this video, hit me up. They got some ideas for some collabs. Never gonna happen in a million years. Um, great movie, great main character, great cast. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really that enjoyable. cast was awesome, and it flowed. The movie just like from sequence to sequence to sequence. It was just like so natural, and it felt amazing. And it was and it, progression. And it was another one of those movies where you're watching it, and it doesn't feel like you're in there for as long as you are. And it's another one of those movies where you're done watching, and you're like, wow, now I can make a difference in the world. Yeah. And that's not based off your color or your race or whatever it is it's just because it's a good movie and it gives you that sensation i saw a lot of people complaining online after that movie came out about how like pretty much the entire message they were like this is saying that black people should rise up against white people and i was like did you watch the movie you didn't watch the movie because isn't that what the bad guy is saying that's what the bad and guy wanted. everyone very clearly agrees in the movie like no we shouldn't do that we should help the people in poverty so that they can be on an equal playing field. But then everyone was like, ah, where's all the white dudes? All right, I have one more trope. I know I said two, but there's one more. Oh, uh, you thought of one? Yeah, and right. this one, out of everything I just mentioned, this one makes me the most heated. Okay. There's politics. Yep. And there's pop culture. Yep. Two different things. They don't go together. Dude, I got a hot take for that. One. Like kids when they get taken to like Trump rallies or like, like, I don't know, like LGBT parades and like pretty much anything 
that's trying to get a political agenda, leave kids out of it. I don't like it. Yeah. It's like, you see kids, they're like, you know in The Incredibles 2, when, like, the little girl holds up the sign that's like, the screen slaver is still out there? Yeah. That little kid did not make that sign. No. She does not know what that means. No. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that. I think let's save that for another episode. Yeah. Let's save. If you want to hear me rant about that, like this video. No. Easily go. We that would be a three-hour episode. This like, one. This one's already going to be like an hour and a half. So I'm gonna have so much. I'm just gonna crop out everything. <laughs> so it's gonna be us going. Welcome. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. We have we have a name. Bye. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, like I said. Politics and movies, they don't go together. If you don't agree with me, then let me break it down for you. Ooh. Okay? Maybe I should put, like, some kind of, like, record scratch sound. I'm just doing this little motion so I can decide later and see where to do it. Because okay. you said break it down, so you're like... Quick, 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 quick. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, politics and movies do not go together. This is a fact. Well, because... I mean, I don't know. Sometimes they do. People made, like, if it's Nazi a, movies. Yeah, if it's a political movie, go ahead. Yeah. Do whatever you want. If it's a normal movie about what, whatever, keep it out of it. It ruins the experience for me. Perfect example. An amazing movie, and I even met the writer of it, Black Klansman. Oh, uh, yeah. He, did, I interviewed he came that guy. to um, PC. Yeah, that's where PC we go to college. college. So, a wonderful man. Loved talking to him, loved interviewing him. He's a hilarious guy. He knows how to talk to people, obviously, because he, he's in Hollywood like 80% yeah, of, of the time. Great writer. He's made amazing screenplays in theater, in theater, like whatever that's called. I don't know what it's called. Scripts? It's, yeah, that. And so I watched the movie because I'm, I'm when we come back to school, I'm going to have to you know release the interview footage, which is unedited, by the way. I'm going to do literally, you're going to hear me click play and you're going to hit click me hear me click stop so nice I, I even told him that too i was like i'm not gonna edit it because i know like in today's political climate people like to edit things and like modify what you say and i would out of everybody that man was so nice to everybody and he i can tell he's just a great person i was like i'm not gonna like edit what you say okay yeah but anyways all right sorry i'm really going off the but anyways here. all right so i watched the movie loved the movie wonderful hilarious movie actually like one of the funniest movies i've ever seen in my life I never watched it. And it's the irony in it is just like, it's killer. Okay. And then, at the end, I had to put that Charlottesville thing in it. I remember what happened? I remember the Charlottesville thing, but I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, they put that at the end. The very end. So it was like, it made me think. I was like, did I just watch a movie that's based on a semi-true story? Or did I just watch someone's political bias? You know, it's, good it's like it it can it can shift the story and the meaning of a movie to a political agenda or bias, and I'm not I don't go to the movies to express my political bias or build upon it or shape it or do whatever. I go to a movie to watch a good movie. You know, I think that's why James Cameron's Avatar is like so not remembered. Why? Well, like the entire idea of Avatar was like, we have IMAX now, come check it out. Yeah. Which I think is why it made so much money, because it was an IMAX. That's true. It was one of the first IMAX movies. So, like, people were like, this is crazy. This is so giant screen. Let's go see it. Yeah. But, like, the movie is a basic political story of, like, don't mess with these natives. That is true, yeah. And if you think about it, like, you could have done a lot you have this brand new technology that you could have told any story with and they went with this basic political one, you know? Yeah. Like, I... The fact that that's the top grossing movie of all time... It's not anymore. No, it's what end, is it? It's Endgame. Nice. Thank but God. it was for a long time and no one knows the main character's name. Do you? I don't remember it. It's Jake I, Sully. I, I just know who played him, that's it. Like... What? And like, the bad guy? I don't know his name. I just know what he looks like. Yeah. Because you just remember going and seeing it and being like, wow, giant screen. Yeah. You don't remember being like, oh, this is an excellent story. Because it's not. And then there's like the point where like they make a, like their hairs touch each other. Oh, yeah, that was weird. It was weird. That was weird. And I don't know what that gimmick was. But like that movie really could have been something. And then it just sat, it just settled for a 
lame story that's been told a hundred times to have some kind of political message. Yeah. And I was like, guys, James Cameron, if you're watching this, dislike this video. We're going to have so many dislikes on this video. Good. Nobody's going to agree with us. Good. Or everybody's going to agree with us. Oh. I guess we'll just find out. So, yeah, that's, I really, like I said, politics and movies, that's like apples and oranges. It's, it, it can, it can, I don't know. It just it like doesn't. You could make a fruit salad with it, but should you? But should you, right? That's gonna be on our merch. And like, a lot, thank God like, it's Friday. You can make a fruit salad with it, but should you? <laughs> and we can sit on the back of it or something. <laughs> but like, ah, oh, dude, I don't know. I just, I hate it. I hate, I hate movies with that have just express such, such obvious political bias. Even, and it's not one way or the other, right? I don't dislike one more than the other. I dislike both of them very equally. Yeah. I'm a very because, bipartisan hater. Yeah, like No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell them what my political belief is. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's not we're just gonna edit that part out. We live in the Bible <laughs> belt. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I go to church. You can figure it out. Whoa. <laughs> I wish this mic worked, so I, that was like super close to it. I might edit Whoa. I might edit the sound to have just a custom sound effect of me being like too close to the mic going like Whoa. <laughs> turn all the way up people are like have your butts and they're like <laughs> now i have another thing i want to talk about for the movies what's up wait hold on oh man pause okay pause so we are back from our quick intermission it was great not sponsored by taco bell by the way but taco bell if you're watching this do not copy strike us hit me up i got some ideas for collabs and i would love some free stuff honestly free stuff is it's the, the whole reason stuff. to get sponsors and to be completely honest what was your thing you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. Okay. My favorite kind of movie is a horror movie. Oh, yeah. I love them. But nowadays, none of them scare me. So we're going to talk about some scary movies that the first time we saw it were scary. All right, bro. All right. The first Paranormal Activity. That's the what's... No, 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 no. That's one of the movies that everybody that saw for the first time was like, this is the scariest movie I've ever seen hands down. That one in The Conjuring. Now, The Conjuring, the first time I saw it, was one oh, of the dude. ones that Ooh. got me. I thought about the, the scene where she has the thing over her face, and she starts freaking out and, like, ripping through it. Oh, and it's like the witch face? Ugh. Ugh. You know what got me really bad the first time I watched it? What? I was house-sitting for you. Oh, no. By myself, middle of the day, but it's a thunderstorm, so it's dark. Oh, my God. It's the last shift on Netflix. That movie's so good. If you haven't seen that movie, it's I don't on even Netflix. know if it's still on Netflix. I think I say if it's not, you got to illegally download that movie. That movie like, is good. So, for anyone who hasn't seen it, it's the very last shift at a police station. Police station that they've already evacuated and they're just kind of watching it for the last night. But the reason they're evacuating it is because don't a cult it. leader. No, it's not a big spoiler. Okay. There's a cult leader that had killed himself and now and his people followers. Were, yeah, his followers also killed themselves. And people were saying that he was the devil. So the whole thing was people were like, all right, there's some spooky stuff going on. Let's get him out of here. Get out of this whole nonsense. Yeah. And the person who's doing the last shift, it is her first shift on the police force. Yeah. She That's all I'm going to say about the movie. But there's one scene where I literally jumped off the couch. Which one was it? Okay, so we can just, you know, we'll just bleep it out. Beep, yeah. <laughs> it's where um, there's like all those rows of like the files, and she keeps thinking she sees. Oh, something, I know which one. I know which one he's talking about. And then she comes about. back okay. to the desk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. And that, it comes from out from under the desk. Yeah. Oh, she's dude, like, that what's so underneath bad. my desk? Boom. And it, like you just don't expect it at all because there's like a ton of stuff going on all around. You're like, it's probably gonna come from behind or something, and she's just like. Moves her chair back and it just and you're just like I wasn't ready. Oh, it was that one got me. That movie in general got me. I tell you what else did Veronica. I never saw that movie. Oh, okay. Veronica is one of the creepiest movies I've ever. I, it's very hard for me to find a movie that actually stays with me, like that will still creep me out after it's done. Yeah. That's one of them. It's all in Spanish, so you have to get it in subtitles. But it's totally worth it. Basically, what they do, this girl does really? a Ouija board really? at school, really? gets caught while she's at a Catholic school, oh. and gets kicked out. They don't get to finish and say goodbye to the spirit. And that spirit stays with her. 
and there's this one specific scene when the power goes out and you just keep hearing this voice say Veronica and she's like looking around with the flashlight trying to find it and it's just this dude with like rotten skin long black hair and like pretty much orange eyes naked standing in the corner saying her name yeah I pretty much I would just live in a church at that point like that movie is one of the very few that I'm actually like like I I yeah, you can see some of my hairs are literally yeah, standing up thinking now. about it that movie is so creepy and if you haven't seen it you should yeah now let's talk about the opposite side what's the worst horror movie Rubber I think the Bye Bye Man I never saw it don't uh, I li- uh, no, uh, don't breathe. Don't breathe is one of the worst horror movies. I got another hot take. Rings? Bad. Not scary. Not scary. The At first all. ring? Pretty I good. I fell asleep. The one that's like, the Japanese one's way scarier. Yeah. But like the American one? Fell asleep. I was like, all right. I'm not surprised. I knew that movie wasn't going to be good, unfortunately. Not, the, not, not like the most recent one. Yeah. Is that the one you're talking about? No, no. I'm talking about the like old one that that one's based off of. Oh, you think that one's not good? Yeah, I fell asleep in it. Wow, I thought it was actually pretty scary. It just didn't get me, like, at all. And I was just, I don't know. That was to a, right around the time that I was becoming jaded to horror movies, though. Oh, uh, that's probably why. See, I'm at the point now, like, if I want to get scared, I gotta, like... Go somewhere scary. Yeah, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, and our new upload is coming out soon. God, yeah, coming soon yeah. to a Bluetooth near you. We explored a haunted playground. And a place called, what is it, Devil's Gate? Hell's Gate? Something Hell's like Gate. that? Yeah. It's really, it's... It's the most haunted cemetery in South Carolina. I've never felt pain in a cemetery before. That was the first time I've actually felt dread. Yeah. Like, you know, to the sense of where I was like, oh, I need to leave. Yeah. Like, something bad is happening here if I stay. Yeah. Basically, that'll be on the channel soon. I'm a little bit afraid to edit it, but stay tuned. Yeah. I think we're just going to have to wait on the whole dreams. I feel like... What time is it? I don't know. It's 1.44. Do you know when we started this? No. You know what? We need to cut it. Because worst case scenario, we go a little short. We pro- I know we were recording at at least one. Yeah. So, alright. I know we were going to talk about dreams, but... Next week. That didn't happen. We'll just have to do that next week, then. Brought to well, you by Taco Bell. Thank you, guys. If you made it all the way through, make sure you like the video. And Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Find us on the Instagram, at PC Bluetooth. I'm Reeves. Wait. Oh. You forgot one thing. Ring the bell. How else are they going to find our videos? they got to get notified. And ring that bell. Super kick ring, 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 ring. that subscribe button. Only a handful of you will understand what he just said. Whatever. But thank you for listening, too. Thank God it's Friday. Until next time. Your podcast for all Fridays. I'm Reeves. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching.